the conventional way to solve would be whatever is the coefficient of x square which is 2 multiplied by whatever is the constant here which is 2 the answer is 4 u which is 2 into 2 now you split 4 into a fashion whereby the answer is 5 so 4 ones are 4 or else you can also have 2 twos are 4 but the addition of this should give us 5 yes but the addition of this does not give us 5 so hence we get the answer as 5 hence we can say that we can use 4 and 1 how can we use we can say 2x square plus 4x plus x plus 2 is equal to 0 So the answer what we get is x plus 2 into 2x plus 1. Now in Vedic way the coefficient of x we split. Now 5 can be split as 1 and 4. So now uh, C1 stands for the coefficient of x square f1 f2 stands for the factors which factor so this would be f1 and this would be f2 so f1 f2 and c2 now imagine if we take this as f1 we take 2 and 3 as the factors so 2 and 3 plus 2 plus 3 now ratio of c1 by f1 should be equal to f2 by c2 that is 2 which is c1 divided by f1 is 2 should be equal to f2 which is 3 divided by 2 is it equal the answer is no and hence 2 and 3 cannot be the factor so let's try the others now let's try 1 and 4 f1 is 1 and this is 4 now c1 is 2 the coefficient of x square f1 is 1 what is f2 is 4 and what is c2 2 are they equal 2 to the 4 the answer is yes what is the ratio 2 is to 1 am i right or wrong we get the first factor which happens to be 2x plus 1 the rule is simple here whatever ratio you get here if the answer was 6 is to minus 7 the factor was 6x minus 7 the answer to find the second factor is whatever is the first term here 2x square you divide with the first term here which is 2x whatever is the constant term here 2 you divide with the, con the term here and this is plus 2 so we'll take it as plus 2 so the answer is x gets cancelled 2 2 gets cancelled the answer is x plus 2 so which is the other factor here x plus 2 now by vedic mathematics let us try to solve and get the factors of this we have to find 2 we have to split minus 13 into a fashion whereby c1 divided by f1 which is factor should be equal to factor 2 divided by the constant term 2 now various error and trial right i would say 13 ones are 13 minus 13 into plus 1 if i do it will it give me a ratio which is c1 by f1 is equal to f2 by c2 let's try it. 
What is C2? Minus 19. Are they equal? The answer is no and hence this is not the factor. Let's see if I take plus 6 minus 19. Will it give me answer as minus 13? The answer is yes. This is purely by error and trial and by practice. Now, what is C1? C1 is 6. What is F1 and F2? Yes, they are equal. Equals to 1 is to 1. The ratio is 1 is to 1. We saw that if the ratio is 1 is to 1, we get the first factor as x plus 1. The method to find the second factor is whatever is the first term here. 6x square divided by whatever is the first term of the factor which is x. Whatever is the last term including its sign, minus 19. And whatever is the constant term here including its sign, divided by 1. The answer. So what is what are the factors of it? The factors are x plus 1 into 6x minus 19 is equal to 0. If we want to find the factors of this, we need to split minus 23. If we need to split minus 23, can we split it as minus 20 and minus 3? We can, but it will not give us the answer as 120. Why? Because 12 into 10 should be equal to 120 and that is how in the normal conventional method we split this into a fashion where the product of this also should be 120, so it's not. So technically this doesn't work. So in the conventional method, if we were to find the factors of this and solve this, we would say the factor of this should be 12 into 10 is equal to 120. When I'm saying this 12 into this 10 always, whatever is with the sign. This 120 has to be split in a fashion that the answer is 23. For example, now. Can I say it's 15 into 8? Is 15 plus 8 23? The answer is yes. The same logic we apply here and we say that it can be 15 and 8 or it can be 8 and 15. Yes. And it can be minus 15 minus 8 or minus 8 minus 15 because both added together should be equal to minus 23 and both the product of both of them should be equal to 120. Now, let us quickly check with our logic if this is C1, this is C2, this is F1 and this is F2. What is C1 here? C1 is 12. What is F1 by this logic? Let us take 15 and 8. Minus 15. Is it equal to what is F2? Minus 8 divided by what is this? 10. Let us try to divide. 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15. 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10. Are they equal? The answer is yes. What is the first thing that you could figure out here? 4 is to minus 5. Now we got the ratio of 4 is to 5 and it is in two variables which is x and y. So the first factor is 4x minus 5y. The reason why is because it is into two variables. Now in order to find the second factor, we know what is the first term here? 12x squared divided by what is the first term here of the factor? 4x. What is the last term here? 10x, 10y squared. And what is the last term here? Minus 5y. What is the solution here? 3x minus 2y. Can we say that this second factor is 3x minus 2y and the first factor is 4x minus 5y or vice versa? 